Hi there, it's Ben Housel here, and in this quick Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial, we're going to create a diagonal split screen. Now, I've done a couple of other tutorials on creating basic split screens and also on creating more advanced split screens. This is going to be a short tutorial that focuses just on creating a simple diagonal split screen with only the tools that we have in Final Cut Pro 10's default install. So you don't need any extra plugins or anything like that to work with this technique. So let's jump in and get started. So this is the effect we're looking for in Final Cut Pro 10 that we're going to create in this quick tutorial. So first of all, let's remove any of the effects that I've got set up on this example. So let's select our clip here and jump up to the edit menu and we're going to go to remove attributes and we're going to remove all these attributes. So you can see to create this effect, we're using the draw mask, we're using a drop shadow, and then we're also using a little bit of transformation to get this split screen to fit our edit perfectly. So I'm going to hit remove on all of these except for the retiming and the audio attributes, which I want to leave as is. So I'm removing all these attributes here. So once I've removed those, our split screen disappears. And because we're only creating a split screen for two clips, we don't need to worry about the bottom clip. So we're going to leave this clip as is. So I'm going to select my top clip. I'm going to go to Window, Show in Workspace, and I need the Inspector up, or Command of 4 to show the Inspector. And we'll come to the Inspector in a second, but first of all, we're going to add the effects. So we're going to come down to the effects on the middle on the right here. So Command of 5 to show the effects. And then we're going to look for the Draw Mask option here. So the Draw Mask is a really awesome effect in Final Cut Pro 10, and it allows us to mask out custom areas of our video or image as we're creating our edits. So I'm going to drag this on to the timeline. And once you've dragged your draw mask onto the timeline, you get this little message here that says click to add control points. So I'm just going to zoom to fit the timeline here. And then I'm going to come up to my viewer here and just zoom out a bit so that I can see the edges of this because I want to create the draw mask points outside the edge of my clip. So I'm going to click once here, once the top right, once the top left and once back at the beginning and you can see that little circle pops up and we have our split screen. So essentially we're all set up and ready to go. But the only thing we haven't added is the outline um, along the edge here. So it's quite nice to sometimes have that dividing line between the two clips when you're creating the split screen just for that graphic effect. Now there is an outline or a frame option within Final Cut Pro 10, but that won't really do the trick for us because it creates the outline on the original image so it creates a rectangle rather than the line we need along here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is add the drop shadow and then take all the feathering out of the drop shadow and I can position it so that it will create a line along here. So we'll jump in and go down to stylize and if we scroll down we'll find the drop shadow effect. We'll drop this on here and you can see we get a nice drop shadow along the right hand side of our image there and we just want to sharpen that up so that it becomes a line rather than a drop shadow. So we'll run through these settings. So we can add some red in there which is going to make this red. We can create 100% opacity which is going to make it a hard line and we can take all the blur off that line which is going to make it a hard line along the edge there. And then we can use this perspective option to drag this around our clip and you can see we can shift it as well so we can end up with kind of like a funky line that kind of gets a little thicker as it goes to the top right which I quite like but then to get it to fill to the bottom but then to get it to fill to the bottom of our frame on the bottom left there we just need to increase the size of our original clip a little bit so generally you don't want to increase the size of your clip too too much but if we come up to the inspector and type in 110 so we'll just take this up to 110 percent we could probably go a little bit less if we wanted to and then we can grab the move tool and we can move this around and position it until we're happy with the position of that. So there you can see now that we've got that set up, we can play through and we have a diagonal split screen with a nice line across the middle there. Now, if we want to apply this to other clips, we can use the copy and paste attributes um, to do that. So if I grab another clip here and pull it up onto that layer and just let it snap in here then we can go to the clip here with the split screen on edit copy select the previous clip highlight that clip and then go to edit paste attributes and here we're pasting in some of the options 
that we have from the other clip. So in this case, I don't want to paste the retiming for the video or the audio, and I don't want to paste the audio attributes. I'll leave those as is. I just want to paste the attributes that are related to the split screen. So the draw mask, the drop shadow, the position and the scale, which we've all adjusted. So I'm going to press paste and you can see we've pasted that same split screen to our other clip. So we could have pasted that to one clip or to 50 clips. So really easy way to create a diagonal split screen in Final Cut Pro 10 without any plugins and with a nice dividing line if you should need it for your projects. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions about Final Cut Pro 10, then please don't hesitate to send me a tweet at Ben Halsell and I will try and feed your suggestions and comments into new tutorials. I'm also on the lookout for video footage. If anyone has any footage they want to share with me, has a question and are happy for me to use their footage in a demonstration, then send me an email, design at benhalsell.com or a tweet at Ben Halsell, and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.